Hey guys, welcome back to Boots and Bounty Homestead. We are out here in the garden today. Excuse the lawnmower, Stevens, cutting the grass. It is what it is. But what we have to do today is harvest our garlic. You'll see it right down here in the bottom corner. Um, now, if we go back to last year, we did a grocery haul about October-ish, where I believe it was Kroger had their garlic bulbs for eating on sale and I think they were like 75 cents each maybe something like that and that was actually a good deal I'll put a clip in here tell you the price or whatever if I need to correct myself um, so I wanted to do an experiment on buying the garlic cloves from the store and planting them and I know there's several other youtubers out there that have done it too and maybe you have or haven't seen them I don't know but I wanted to do it um, just so one we have garlic and two I can show you the price comparison so I believe it was five heads of garlic that we had bought I opened them up I got out the biggest um, cloves that there were in the heads and then I planted them now not every single one of them survived um, I believe I, I want to say I planted, I want to say about 40. I could be wrong. See, I don't, I don't even remember. I'll go back and I'll see if I can find the planting the garlic video that I did, um, where I showed you where I got these from. I um, mean, when we planted them together, um, I do not remember but I've already harvested one and as you see they're looking pretty dead um, now around June ish in my area 7b um, around about June is when garlic is going to be harvested we plant it in October we harvest it in June and it is ready whenever you start seeing the bottom few layers of leaves die or turn brown that's what mine are doing so we're gonna go ahead we're just gonna pull all of this up I've got a couple of things I want to put in this bed afterwards so we're just gonna go ahead and pull this up and we'll see what they look like how many we got and the cost comparison as to what I bought and planted as to what I would have paid if I had bought all of these garlic clove heads in the store so let's get to it I did notice that some of these did die and I kind of just did away with them as they died. Some of them are just too small. And the necks are starting to get soft so this is a good time to harvest these because they were actually starting to rot. Let's see if I can find this one down in here. I don't even feel that one. The one that broke off. I don't feel it. That's a big one. There's another big one. 
Ooh, that's a pretty good size one. Okay, so here we have our harvest, and I went ahead and went and got the one over there that um, I had already harvested. Let's count and see how many we have. I will let you know on the screen how many I bought, how many I planted, what I paid for that garlic, and then what this would cost. So let's count and see how many it we have. One, two, three, four, two, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, because there was two that were really, really small that I had already pulled up. So that was part of the harvest because I have used them in a recipe. Um, so we harvested 27 garlic heads, garlic clove heads. And I'll put the grand total of how much this would have cost had we bought all of this at the store. But we only paid the first amount because I, I don't, sorry, I don't know what it is. I want to say it's 75 cents a piece. But we only paid this amount to begin with and we harvested 27. We would have paid this amount, so we actually saved this amount. So you can buy things like this from the store. These were not organic. I did not buy organic. Some things you will need to consider buying organic if you are going to sprout them because non-organic things have a wax coating or some kind of spray on them that causes them not to sprout. So keep that in consideration. Whenever you're looking for seeds and things at the store to purchase, to, to plant, keep that in mind. Overall, I think this was a great success, a great experiment from beginning to end. Let me know if you've ever planted it, and we will see you next time, guys. Bye!